Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver are two critically acclaimed games from 2009, but how do they stack up when compared to their original predecessors in terms of packaging? Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver versions were released in September of 2009 in Japan, later being released in 2010 for the rest of the world. They went on to become the 8th best-selling Nintendo DS video game at just under 13 million sales. Pokemon Gold and Silver versions were released almost exactly 10 years prior in November of 1999 in Japan. They went on to sell extremely well, reaching 23.1 million sales worldwide by 2010, nearly double the sales of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. This made them the third best-selling Game Boy game of all time, only behind Pokemon Red and Blue and Tetris. They have since gone on to be one of the best-selling main series Pokemon games, again only second to Pokemon Red and Blue. While they're labeled as Game Boy Color games, they are actually playable on the original Game Boy in black and white, as this was a transition period between the two consoles, something that the later Game Boy Color games are not capable of. Since the two versions are nearly identical in terms of packaging, Let's unbox the Silver and Soul Silver versions of the two games. Let's start with Silver version. Taking a look here at the cover, you can see it has a nice holographic shiny look with Lugia as the legendary on the cover, and you can see the Gold and Silver logo right down there. If we take a look at the one side, you can see Slowking and Elekid, two of the new Pokemon in this generation, and Hootoot. This side of the box just contains some information and um, warranty information. And if we take a look here at the back, you can see some of the artwork for the trainer and Pikachu, along with some information discussing the new generation, along with the back here where it talks about the Game Boy Color and Game Boy compatibility, which you can play the Game Boy Color up to 56 colors, which also works if you have the Super Game Boy for the Super Nintendo. So now let's dig into the box, first opening this top flap here. You can see there are two Pokeballs, on the top there, I think that is the Quick Ball and the Dust Ball. I might be wrong about that. And inside here, that's I think everything inside the box. We have the game and some little pamphlets here. So if we go through these, the first one is the Most Boring Consumer Information and Precautions book, which really just come standard in all Nintendo games, it seems like, up until recently. Not too exciting. Here we have the Player's Guide offer, which talks about um, probably getting a free strategy guide when you uh, sign up for Nintendo Power. Uh, that was the, uh, the classic offer that they had with just about every one of their main series games. And here's a little advertisement for the Pikachu Nintendo 64 and um, a variety of uh, Pikachu games on the system and also the uh, Pokemon Pikachu 2, which um, there's a slight reference to in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver with the Pokewalker. Now looking at the uh, trainer's guide, it is uh, specific to the silver version. So uh, looking through it, it's not all too exciting. A lot of uh, Nice artwork that you would not have otherwise, especially in newer games. And um, some information just about the game. And going through here, we can uh, just see that. It's mainly some helpful hints that um, I really wish newer games still gave a manual, but uh, most things are just digital downloads anyway. And it talks a little bit about linking and uh, trading along with mystery gifts, which could be received at stores such as uh, Toys R Us if you were to go there, which sadly is no longer open. And that's about it. Um, interestingly, the uh, Nintendo Authorized Repair Center phone number is actually still in use, so if you have uh, any uh, repair needs from Nintendo, you can still call that phone number and they will help you. Now taking a look at the game. The game comes, first of all, in this white cardboard sleeve kind of thing that is just an insert to keep it upright in the box, which later versions of a uh, Game Boy Color and uh, especially um, Game Boy Advance games don't have such a sleeve. They actually are just a um, little pocket built into the box itself. 
And here we go is the uh, actual game, Pokemon Silver, with its uh, metallic -y silver cartridge. It's nice that Nintendo included this uh, plastic bag to keep uh, any sort of dust and debris out of the uh, cartridge while it was being stored and also just to have for the future, which I assume most people probably threw this away, so it's always nice to have. And taking a look at the game here, you can see it's overall in really good condition and uh, that metallic -y silver that I was talking about, you can kind of see it, it's not just uh, dirty. And there you go. So that's a look at the uh, Pokemon Silver game. And now we have Pokemon Soul Silver version, which the cover looks overall very similar. It has Lugia, has a very silver look, and kind of metallic-y, but it actually has some small depictions of a few of the um, places in the game, which is actually really nice. I think that's a nice touch. It kind of makes the box a little more exciting instead of just the um, silver spiral that was on the uh, silver version. Here it talks about the Pokewalker accessory, and if we look at the sides, they are much less exciting than the silver version, having really nothing except for just saying Pokemon Soul Silver and Pokewalker on pretty much all the sides. Taking a look at the back, we have some information about the new generation and talking about the Pokewalker, and then we have a small artwork for the trainers. But it would be nice to see a few more things just around the box for a little artwork and such, just like on Silver Version. Now actually opening the box, we can look in here. No little Pokeballs on the two flaps. And take out whatever's inside. All right, so you get a lot more in this compared to Silver Version, that's for sure. So let's first take a look at what we have here. This is the Pokewalker Operations Manual. And it's kind of a fold-out booklet just to talk about the Pokewalker and such. And uh, just in case you're wondering, you should not wash the Pokewalker. It is an electronic device, so just good to keep in mind there. And uh, here we have the actual Pokewalker itself. They come in a little foam sleeve. And this one's still new with the tab on it, but that's what it looks like. Just a small little pedometer basically, but um, with the ability to store a, a single Pokemon to go for a walk. And the side of this cardboard includes just a little clip that can be screwed on, so you can have a little belt clip on your Pokewalker instead of just the normal back. Finally, let's look at the inside case. You can see the design on the front is very similar to the one on the external box. So let's go ahead and see what we have on the back. Again, very similar, talking about the Pokewalker. It's labeled not for resale because this game was only available in this bundle pack. It was not available just as this box alone. So on the inside we have a ton of pamphlets and the game card right there. So if we take a look here, you can see all that's included. So we have first an advertisement for Pokemon Rumble, which was available exclusively on the Wii Shop channel. And then it talks a little bit about the trading card game on the back there. Next we have a Club Nintendo offer, which is um, specific to this game. These were um, just codes that you could use to earn points and get some exclusive merchandise and games on Club Nintendo, which is now My Nintendo Rewards, which does not have nearly as cool stuff as this Club Nintendo had. We also have the Health and Safety book, which was um, also included in the gold and silver versions, but not exactly in this form. It's very similar though. The Wi-Fi connection instruction booklet is just kind of um, included to help you get your Wi-Fi set up if you're having issues with it, but um, not really too useful to many. And finally, we reach the Soul Silver actual manual, which it's very nice. It has this kind of um, paper texture feel. It's kind of matte. It's not very um, glossy whatsoever. And if we kind of look through here, you can see that it has um, a very nice sort of design to it with um, this like silvery coloring and a uh, variety of um, bright colors. But it's a lot of text. It'd be nice if they included um, a lot more artwork like in the uh, gold and silver manuals. So there you have it, that is Pokemon Soul Silver. 
And now it's time to score the two games on their packaging. First we have Pokemon Silver version and Soul Silver version. I thought the Pokemon Silver box had a clean, simple design that featured a lot of nice watercolor artwork. The inserts were vibrant and the manual was nicely done with a good amount of pictures. The plastic bag around the game was also a nice touch. The Soul Silver box, on the other hand, had a lot more to offer, including a beautifully detailed cover artwork and tons of inserts. The manual was made of a very nice matte paper, unlike anything else I've really seen. My overall thoughts are that the Silver box is the winner here. While it offers much less than the Soul Silver box in terms of quantity, it makes up for it in quality. The inserts and artwork on the Silver box are much more exciting and appealing to the eye. The Soul Silver game includes a number of boring white inserts that do not add much to the packaging and seem like filler. Thanks for watching guys and let me know if you agree with my thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.